hi guys welcome back to a new video my name is busola i'm a medical doctor living in nigeria i make videos about medicine and lifestyle if you've not subscribed please hit that subscribe button right now check out all my other videos i am sure that you would absolutely enjoy them i have a lot of vlogs from medical school a lot of lifestyle vlogs some travel vlogs and also a lot of videos that will help you as a medical student in nigeria in today's video i just wanted to share with you guys a few of the mistakes that i have made as a medical student i just finished medical school and i was just reminiscing actually about um, my medical school journey and i was just like yeah there were definitely some mistakes that i made that i feel like if i made better decisions on i would have had a much much easier journey and i was just like let me share it with you guys just so that you don't make the kind of mistakes that i made okay and this is going to be helpful for every medical student but even more so medical students who are in their first few years you know because pretty much a lot of the mistakes i made came from um lack of information or lack of knowledge on the things that i was supposed to do earlier in medical school your foundation in medical school actually really matters your journey from the beginning actually matters i personally did not enjoy my preclinical years i started enjoying medical school um later in medical school when i got into clinicals that was when i particularly loved medical school i didn't love the beginning part and i'm thinking back about it now and i'm like there were a lot of things that i could have done differently that would have made me actually enjoy that part of medical school as well so i'm just going to be sharing um the basic mistakes that i made just so that you guys don't make the mistakes as well please 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 do also watch this video and take my advice okay take it from somebody who knows i went through these things just so that you guys don't have to experience is not always the best teacher you can learn from somebody somebody else's experiences and at the end of this video i'm going to be sharing the great decisions that i made as well just so that we don't make this video all about mistakes let me also share with you some of the amazing decisions that i made that helped me a lot as well so without further ado let's jump straight into this video Number one thing that i feel like was the most important factor in um my medical school journey was um the mistake that i made not taking my health seriously i didn't take my health seriously and that really backfired a lot i felt sick a lot people who knew me then knew that i felt sick and it affected me because i felt sick during exams as well and that just had like it just it just turned into like this series of events that just was a disaster okay so one thing that i would say and i say it in a lot of my videos and i'm going to keep saying it because I feel like sometimes we hear some things, we know what we're supposed to do, but because people don't hammer it in your ears, you think, oh, it's not that much of a big deal. It actually is, okay? It is such a big deal. Please, please, please take care of your health, um, eat well, eat properly. Don't neglect your health because you're in medical school. It is when you are healthy and alive that you can be a medical student and that you can be a doctor, that you can treat people. A doctor who is sick cannot doctor anybody you cannot treat anybody if you are sick you can't be a proper medical student you cannot be an optimal medical student so your health is very important and not just your physical health your mental health as well is very important please 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 take all those things seriously um cut out toxicity from your life have a positive attitude eat healthy drink a lot of water exercise you know just all around just be healthy you don't know the importance of good health until you don't have it anymore now i know not to joke with my health anymore i pretty much i am the number one advocate of my health before like then people used to watch my health for me <laughs> so silly but yeah people were more concerned about my health than i was about my own health but now <laughs> i don't joke with my health okay so yeah, number one, take your health very seriously. I say it a lot and I'm going to keep saying it. Number two that I have to say is <sighs> naturally I am an introvert. I am a social introvert. I don't want to go into explaining it or defining it, but there are different kinds of introverts, okay? And I am a social introvert. 
so i tend to be a loner especially if it is like a new environment i don't blend in very easily and that really affected me because in medical school you need your guys you need your people okay i used to read for exams alone i used to read for mb alone <laughs> now i think about it and i'm like was i insane like who does that and it's so crazy because like i would read for it alone and i didn't really have people that i could be you know asking questions like texting regularly asking them questions i literally miss that an entire topic even happened and i was still being a loner and i think about it now and i'm just like that was such a dangerous place to be in it was such a dangerous dangerous place to be in like things circulate while you are among company in medical school even by mere discussing things with your classmates just explaining things back and forth will help you a lot like i remember then i would literally not understand the topic but i would be reading it over and over and over again when I could literally have, if I had, you know, my guys, I could literally have asked them like, okay, explain this thing to me. Nobody explains topics better than somebody on your level in your class. They will explain it in a very, very simplified term in the way that they used to understand it. They will explain it to you in that way. I was such a loner. I think I was a now and I'm just like, wow. <laughs> even if you are a loner, even if you are an introvert, Please try as much as possible to find at least somebody that you can every now and then go meet, talk to, you know, discuss topics with that you can just randomly call. Okay, did they give us this note? You, you get like stuff like that really matters. You need company in medical school. I don't know how else to explain it. You really, really, really do need company. Yeah. Take number three is the fact that I did not start utilizing youtube resources and video resources early i did not and i am such a visual learner i learned that later in medical school i am a visual learner the way videos have helped me in medical school is insane the way i study things now especially for topics that i don't really understand i just go on youtube search for that topic if it's for example heart failure search for heart failure um look for lectures on it i have my favorites um, YouTube um, lecture channels so I just look for a lecture on it watch it first and then go and now start reading it and it is a it is a lifesaver it has made everything so easy for me I tell my people that are still in medical school and I tell town I tell Dewara please watch videos obviously it's not going to um, work for everybody it's not going to work for everybody the way it worked for me but at least try it first and know that it doesn't work for you before you just like knock it out completely it has helped my life immensely i'm not even going to lie like it has helped my life and i wish that i utilized this um tip a lot earlier because then i remember i had a lot of videos on my laptop i just didn't used to watch them i would literally just pick up a textbook and i would be spending hours and hours trying to understand and cram when like if i watched a video on it it will stick a lot better i am such a visual learner i am one of the biggest visual learners ever and i did not know that until later in medical school so if you're a visual learner like me then videos should definitely be a go-to for you another okay? mistake that i made is letting results determine my worth as a person as a student as a future medical doctor this is a whole topic on its own but like literally the fact that you failed an exam the fact the fact that you failed a test does not mean that you are dumb it doesn't mean that you don't have sense anymore it doesn't mean that you are a dullard it just means that you did not prepare well enough for that exam <sighs> exams are so subjective exams are so subjective it just depends on did you read that topic did you know that topic and do you know how to answer it it doesn't mean that you are stupid you may obviously you may have been lazy to not have prepared for that exam or you may have even been working at and just not working right or working smart to pass that exam do not let the result of one exam or two exams determine your worth don't let it determine your worth as a person as a human being as a medical student 
as a future doctor somebody that really 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 helped me in this regard was life by tosin i'll leave her instagram handle here she's a medical doctor in the u.s she is amazing she's so open she speaks about failure in medical school failing exams and she's just very open about her journey concerning that and you guys it really really changed my life because she's such a phenomenal person a phenomenal doctor and now she's doing great like literally the exams don't determine your worth and i feel like life by tosin was my biggest influencer in helping me get out of that mind rot okay it is such a terrible place to be in thinking that you are dumb and stupid just because of the result of an exam so yeah that's one mistake that i made i wish that i came to this realization early 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 on in medical school i struggled with it quite a for a bit before i eventually was able to find my bearing and get my confidence back and all of that to be honest and yeah it is and it is such a journey okay so please 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 i am begging you if you failed a test an exam please it is not the end of the world and it does not mean that you are stupid forget what anybody else has to say it doesn't mean like literally you fail an exam that's all that's all you fail two exams that's all like it literally does not determine who you are as a person the final okay. mistake that i think that i made earlier on in medical school is um not evaluating my relationships early like not properly or quickly evaluating my relationships like keeping toxicity in my space <sighs> medical school is stressful you don't need any kind of stressor again in your life like your relationships shouldn't be toxic be it your romantic relationships your relationship with friends you don't need that you should not stay in a condition in an environment in a situation that is toxic to you for so long once you realize that this situation is toxic please 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 leave leave okay you are already going through a lot of stressors and Emotional stress will affect every other area of your life, including medical school. Okay, so you don't need that kind of stress in your life. Please evaluate your relationships early. Like I had friends that were just a no-no for me. Like literally friends, relationships that were just like a no-no for me that I held on for a little too long. And yeah, never again. Like I feel like I am... Um, a lot wiser now a lot smarter now i do not let toxicity in my space okay like literally my bubble is all good vibes and um realness and um, um growth and positivity and just overall good vibes okay i don't do toxicity i don't do negative energy anymore please 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 learn that early please i am begging you okay i i'm begging a lot in this video because i don't want people to make the same mistakes that i made so please i'm begging you don't make those yeah, mistakes i think we're actually done with the major mistakes that i think that i made now let me quickly briefly talk about what some of the best decisions that i made in my journey in medical school the number one best decision that i made was to join mb anonymous MB Anonymous is um, the name, what we named our study group. We are a group of eight students and we started this group in 400 level in fourth year. And, and we literally rode together and we had each other's backs up until the end of medical school. And I have to say, I say it a lot, but I have to say it again. This was one of the biggest positive impacts in um, my medical school journey to be very, very, very honest obviously i know that um study groups can go wrong you don't want to be in a study group with people who just want to take and take and take and you also don't want to be in the same study group with people who just literally who just want to come and show you that they've read it all and make you feel bad okay i think what makes mb anonymous an amazing study group is the fact that we had each other's backs like literally like we had this idea of no no man left behind like if you don't understand something you have to understand it okay we were all so patient with each other we were also free to correct each other to take correction as well 
we were all so willing to teach and give and we i feel like everybody just knew that it was in giving that you would be able to receive like the more you give the more you receive pretty much and it is the be we, we did a thing with that group i'm not even going to lie we did a thing um so yeah shout out to you guys damisi ife lewa um apampa joshua awede and cash shout out to you guys you guys are the best okay we did a thing if you can find a study group that pretty much is edifying and not toxic and just like negative please 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 take advantage of it and yeah i feel like it will help a lot because it really really helped me a lot another thing that i did that i think really helped me a lot was carrying my family members along my family members and my loved ones along every step of the way from the beginning like literally there's nothing that is happening that my mom doesn't know that all my um close friends my siblings don't know like literally the good the great the bad the ugly every single thing they were in on it they were in the loop every single time and i think it was easy for me because i have the best family members like literally the most supportive the most caring the most loving family members and best friends like they are the most amazing so i didn't even have that dilemma of you know thinking like if i tell them this thing will i be better off not telling them than actually telling them will it be worse than it already is and i think what that does pretty much is that it helps your family members and your loved ones know how they can help you it helps for them to give you the support that you need because you need a lot of support to be very honest and so it helps a lot and that was one thing that i am very very glad that i did and i'm very very happy and blessed to have the kind of family and friends that i do another really really great decision that i made was deciding not to quit medical school because at some point it was it was something I was thinking about constantly, like a lot. I was constantly thinking about it. Like, I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here. Just because I, I really hated it, okay? And I felt like I wasn't good in medical school. Like, I just felt like I wasn't a good medical student. I felt like medical school wasn't for me. And um, there's one thing that actually kept me going, apart from my support and the love from my family and friends, was the fact that... Somebody told me, the person was like, clinicals is not like preclinicals. Pre try and write it out up until clinicals. Don't knock it yet until you try clinicals. And lo and behold, I got to clinicals and I absolutely, absolutely enjoyed it. And I'm happy I didn't quit at that moment. I'm happy that I stuck with it to be able to find out that I actually really, really did enjoy clinicals and I could be good at it as well. So yeah, that's a very, very big, huge good decision that i made so lastly before we round off this video another amazing amazing decision or situation for me that helped me in medical school a lot was the fact that i lived alone i am the kind of person who likes my space a lot so now i'm thinking about it i'm thinking back and i'm thinking if i had a roommate would i have been sane <laughs> because the way i study is very dynamic i study with loud music i can wake up at 2 a.m in the morning and decide to study, put on the lights. I'm just thinking about all those dynamics, feeling comfortable in your own space. If I don't feel comfortable in a particular space, I can't really particularly assimilate um, what I'm studying. So I'm just thinking like, <laughs> if I had a roommate, would I have been sane? And would I have been as comfortable as I was to be able to learn as much as I learned in medical school? I don't know i don't know but i think it was a great decision that i lived alone i didn't need to have to go outside to study um i wasn't having any visitor that wasn't mine and to be honest i personally don't really have visitors in this room anybody that knows me knows that i rarely really 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 have visitors so imagine if i had a roommate that always had visitors <laughs> do you get like i just don't know what the dynamics of that would be and i'm just very grateful and thankful that I did not have to find out, okay? That's about it for this video. I hope that you would take all the mistakes that I made. I hope that you keep them in your mind just so that you don't make the same thing. Yeah, I wish you all the best in your journey in medical school. Medical school is so fun, even though it is so stressful. And it can even be more fun if you take my advice, okay? Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to be kind to yourself and be kind to others. I'll see you in my next one.
bye